If I could ask you to tattoo this on the inside of your eyelids, it would be the one thing I would ask you to do. Understand that nobody can ever love you more than you love yourself. What is love? Yeah, let's explore love because yeah, I love these dogs. Yeah, I love a massage. Yeah, I love yeah, my breakfast smoothie in the morning. But none of that is the same direction in terms of the signpost as to, yeah, I love myself or I love somebody else or I, I really love yeah, this feeling of being completely connected at a, a level much deeper than physical to another personal human being. If I could ask you to tattoo this on the inside of your eyelids, it would be the one thing I would ask you to do. Understand that nobody can ever love you more than you love yourself. The first step before we even talk about getting into relationships is to ask about the relationship with ourselves. What's the typical default for most people? What do they think about when they look in the mirror? What do they think about when they look at somebody else that they perceive has better qualities than them? Everything is in a contrast frame to minimize their greatness and expose or magnify or focus on perceived flaws. Oh, well, I just need to shift a few pounds. Oh, when I get my MBA, then I'll be fill in the blank. Oh, well, you know, if I go and you know, give money to charity, then people will think good of me. Whatever it may be, we're focusing on you know, what we need to do, not who we are now. If you look in the mirror, you know, great exercise. You know, get naked in the morning, look in the mirror, and notice five things that are amazing about you. As opposed to the default of, oh my God, look at me, I just need to work out more. Oh, you know, I need to get a haircut. Everything we filter through our own self-image is by default critical first before we then give ourselves some level of acknowledgement or praise. Now, if we're doing that to ourselves, what chance have we got expecting somebody else to come along and give us a you know, two kilos of love to support us to make up for that feeling? It's not gonna happen because A, love can't be conceptualized into a product like most people think. Oh, I loved this person for the last six months of the relationship and they go and do this to me. Well, that sounds conditional, you know, regardless of how you justify it. Love is the highest level of, of regard for somebody's well-being, irrespective of what they do in return to fit your pictures. But the question that I wanna leave you with here, the question I want you to think about, is that if nobody can love me more than I love myself, what do I do to focus on that daily? What is it that I can start to notice that's great about me rather than what I want to improve because the presupposition is it's not good enough.